oxygen, we have the different types of them. Yeah, so we have the different types of uh, A is the like deep learning, missile learning, then vision, uh, and then after this is called natural language processing. So generally, as part of the research, then NLP, the natural language processing, it might helping for the research process. So here I'm going to highlight first half an hour, some of the tools related to the voice typing and uh, some of the tools related to the uh, translate, because if you like to do instant translation for our research purpose, which are tools might helping us. Then after this, I'm going to be highlight some of the paraphrasing tools, which are using regularly for our research. Then I'm going to highlight some of the plagiarism detector software. Um, most of the software which are using for the paid one or the university the subscription base, we are using it. But today I'm going to give some of the free software, which is um, having some kind of basic free version server that I'm going to be emphasizing now. And grammar checker. So in what way we may uh, use some of the tools for the grammar checker as for the AI. So like this, I'm going to highlight some of the tools which is more relevant to the research, particularly for writing a report or writing a research article. For this, this kind of tools might helping us. And you know, uh, you know how to collect the reviews and all. We have the different uh, websites like uh, Scopus, Web of Science, or Google Scholar. So that things I'm not highlighting. Here I'm going to highlight only the AI tools, which is more uh, helpful for us to writing a uh, research things and all. So that is the reason I'm going to highlight now. And the first part, the voice typing. You know, even the MS Office itself, we have the voice typing. I don't know how many people are aware of it. So just I'm going to start my MS Office. Uh, but the MS Office, I'm using a uh, Microsoft Office 365 version. If I use the latest version, you have this kind of options. Just I'm opening my MS Word, okay? So if you open a MS Word, so it's going to be open. Because nowadays, uh, uh, most of the people are not familiar how to type, okay? Because uh, the typing is not everybody's cup of tea. So those who are having, uh, those are finished some kind of course in typewriting, they may have the proper skills. Otherwise, the people may be struggle to type all the documents and all. But now, um, in our in our uh, MS office itself, we have some kind of AA features. Uh, what are things we have spoken to the systems? It may be typing as it is, and you can compile. And finally, if you want to do editing, finally, you can do the editing and all. So, here uh, in the MS Office, uh, particularly the MS Word, it is a home page. So, as I already mentioned, that I'm using the Microsoft 365. If you are using the old version, you cannot find this. But if you are having some kind of uh, latest version like 2020 or 2019, you might have this kind of features. In the home button, so if you go to the home menu bar, there is an option called dictate, right? So once you press the dictate, you can find out here, uh, there is the uh, uh, audio, audio pop-up window. Then after this, what are things you're speaking, maybe typing it. Hope you're seeing this. Um, my system is typing one by one. So just I'm going to read uh, one newspaper with me. I'm just reading the newspaper. You know, cities should evolve themselves as a social construction centers that can use knowledge for social progress, Chief Minister Pinera Vijayan has said. He has delivering a speech after opening a slew of infrastructure development projects on the Calicut University campus on Saturday. So like this, which things you'd like to be highlighted here, which things you'd like to type, just so you can talk to the uh, in front of the system, it may be typing one by one. After this, you feel that you want to do some kind of editing or you want to do some kind of paraphrasing, you can depend on some other tools to be do the paraphrasing and all. So like this, now uh, we have the options in the MS Office itself to typing. So it is part and partial of the AI that's called NLP, Natural Language Processing. As I already mentioned, it's one of the, the types of AI. Uh, and uh, it may be typing some other Indian languages also. Suppose if you want to stop it, you have to press this one. So now the typing is to be stopped. Suppose you like to type some other languages, you can go to this uh, setting options. Then after that, you click it here and you can find some of the basic languages. Even Tamil is available, Telugu is available. Suppose you like to go with Hindi. So I can check the Hindi. Yeah, Hindi is not there. Hopefully they may be updated the things very soon. So English is available. Ah, Hindi it is there. Yeah, Hindi is there. Arabic is there, Arabic, Bahrain, Arabic, uh, Egypt, Arabic, Saudi Arabia. So like this, which uh, which language you like to speak, that language you have to enable it. After that, you have to go for uh, typing. So like this, 
now uh, ms word itself this kind of features are available and uh, another features which is uh, more relevant to the the researcher that's called translator for example i have one uh, word document which i like to open it now and this is this already existing word document i am just open so there is a chapter number 4 of my students just i am open this so i am just copying this the two paragraph i mean two pages of the content i am pasting to empty document yeah so i am just keeping to the empty document so i am paste into the empty document so now my uh, thought that i want to convert the entire uh, two pages into hindi so previously if you want to depends on the translate we had to go with the google translate or any other online platforms and we had to depends on this but in the ms office itself there is an options um it may be helping to be convert to any language to any language for this we had to go to the uh, view options uh, yeah we had to go with the uh, review options in this review you know uh, we have the check accessibility even it may be reading the content suppose you like to translate go to the translate it asking whether you like to translate the selected content or you want to translate the entire document suppose i like to translate the entire document even the document may be 100 pages 200 pages in an instant basis it may be translating one language to other language but i like to now do is translate a document when i press the translated document uh, there may be a pop up window on the right side they are talking to which language to which language so the basic language source language is in english so i would like to translate into hindi you can select the language which you like to translate then go to the translate so it takes few seconds to translate but as i already mentioned the stay also i highlighted when you like to do this kind of translation or voice typing you should be online your system will be connected with the online if it offline don't be work so if with the internet only uh, this kind of uh, process might be okay if it offline this kind of translation may not be work so now you can see the entire two page content i translate to um english to uh, hindi so this is a way uh, uh, this kind of uh, nlp actual language processing based ai it may be helping to translate to one language just to other language particularly those who like to uh, do the research in their mother tongue you could not find this most of the reviews in their own mother tongue for them it might be helping even some people like to write an article in hindi or their mother tongue for them it will be a very useful tools for them the similar features are available suppose you are using a old version of the ams office okay don't worry uh, we have the uh, online features online tools uh, for the same kind of features which i do the which i done a demo through the word documents that is nothing but our google uh, docs so for this we have to go to our google docs just i'm doing the demo those who are not having these features in the ms office don't worry you can go to your ms office uh, or you can go to the drive or directly go to the uh, google docs it's not ms office it's google docs so here you can directly go to the google docs otherwise you go to the google drive and then you can reach the google docs but and now i'm going to the google docs so once i reach the google docs um so you may get this kind of interface here i'm already having a lot of pages i'm having so what i like to do uh, suppose i like to create a new documents or new uh, docs therefore i'm just to click the blank suppose already if you have the document you want to translate to one language to other language you can use the the existing document which is available in the google docs for this you know how to upload it in the google drive so that things i'm not highlighting now just so we can press the blank document it goes to the google docs interfaces Uh, I already copied uh, some of the statements as uh, some of the paragraph there. Just I'm pasting here. Yeah, so just I'm trying to paste here. The same paragraph is available here. Suppose I like to add some more paragraph uh, inside it as part of the uh, adding some uh, some voice typing. So for this, one thing you must be aware of it. I uh, when you're using the Google Docs in the Google Chrome, only this kind of features are available. Suppose if you're using the other browser. sometime this features won't be available uh, if you are using the google chrome browser uh, and parallel you are using the google docs this kind of features are available if you go to the menu bar in the google docs um, you might find the tool options right this are tool options having the plenty of ai features uh, especially the tools like a translated document voice typing both is available here only suppose you like to do the voice typing just you can uh, click this voice typing here 
once you press the voice typing, you can get this kind of small toolbar and the small tool pop-up window in the left corner. Then after this, you can keep the cursor where you like to type. Suppose I like to type the first paragraph down, keep the cursor. Then after this, you have to click this, the audio button. After this, after the clicking the audio button, we have to spoke what you like to type. Similarly, I like to uh, speak here. That is the reason I'm just pressing this audio button. Then there may be a red color button. Then what you like to speak, you have to speak. University should evolve themselves in your social construction centers that can use the knowledge for social progress. Said by the Chief Minister of Kerala, he was delivering a speech after opening a sleeve of infrastructure development project on the Calicut University campus on Saturday. Like this, what are things we like to speak? Just so you can speak one by one. It may be typing. Finally, if you want to do kind of editing, you can do further editing and all. So suppose you like to stop, just to confess once again, the red button. Now the voice typing is to the end. And suppose, sometimes you may have the doubts. Suppose I want to type my uh, mother tongue or the, the language which you like to prefer from your end. So how we can type? Because it may be supporting only English, right? But don't think that maybe something only the English. It may be supporting all the languages. So here, how we can type in your mother tongue. So for this, you have to go with the same audio button after enabling it. There is here, near to the audio, there is a small arrow mark, the down arrow mark. If you press this, you can find all the languages. Suppose I like to type in English. So, sorry, Hindi, you can find this Hindi language. Even the different foreign language, Urdu, all the foreign languages are available. Suppose, uh, my mother tongue is Tamil. I like to speak in Tamil. I can trust the Tamil. Vanakkam. Aniverkum iniya malai vanakkam. So, uh, so one thing, what I done the mistakes, I enabled this uh, language, but I didn't press this, this button. So, when you like to type, you should be enabled. You have to press this. Just to, I'm pressing this. Vanakkam. Aniverkum iniya malai vanakkam. Now, you can see what are the things I said in Tamil. It may be typing now right so like this you can try with your own mother tongue suppose you, you are not much comfortable for typing your mother tongue because mostly the laptop no it may be uh, very much uh, slow what is that easy access only for the english typing but for the the other language very much difficult for them is a very good tool for typing uh, through um, any languages that uh, which language you like to prefer but that is a condition. So once again, the Google Docs, if you want to use it, you need to be online. Right. Now, this is here one features for the NLP. Then similarly, there are other features that for the translation. Here, I'm just using a translator feature. For this, I'm using the tools. And there is an option called translated document. Even there may be 100 pages or 200 pages, not an issue. In instantly, it may be uh, converting from one language to other languages. I have to press the translated document. And uh, it asking to the language. You have to select a language. So suppose I like to select as in Hindi. I can select in Hindi. Right, go to the translate. So like this, if you translate, you may get the new documents, new uh, MS doc, uh, new uh, Google Docs. So the existing file is available. The existing file is in English. That is also available. Then default, uh, then after translating, there may be one more document file. It may be open. That is the document file. Is nothing but the, the translation of the the entire transcripts before we translate. No? That will becomes here. So like this, um, it gives you a very easy solution to translate a number of pages in instant manner. Suppose even this option is not available. You are uh, you are using it uh, other than the Google Chrome. You want to use this kind of features. Don't worry. Even we have the mobile phone itself. These features are available, or we have a lot of. Uh, Tools are available. Suppose these two features not working uh, in your like uh, Google Docs. So I am recommending with other tools. Uh, I'm having the different uh, tools like this. If you go to the A, uh, I am already making some kind of bookmarking. There is a tool is called dictation.io. Dictation.io. Just so you can uh, go to this site. Just I'm sharing these things here. So that is called dictation.io. Uh, I'm just reporting to everyone. So yeah. So I'm sharing this link now. Is this translation can be used in official matter? Of course, you have to translate, but kindly ensure whether it may be translated 
in a correct manner. Sometimes the transfer is not be much uh, correct. So we had to do some kind of uh, additions. And then after that, we had to be write a official uh, letters and all. So here, this is a platform it's called dictation.io. Um, just to confess the long, uh, launch dictations. After this, you can uh, it may be open in this kind of interface. Then you have to start. Once you press the start, automatically the voice, uh, it may be recognizing. Then what are things you like to speak, you can speak here. Then press the start button. Hi all. So today I'm going to be discussing about some of the features related to the e-learning. So what are things I'm speaking now? It may be typing here, right? So finally, if you want to copy and paste into your Word document, what you have to do? Just you can copy this. So you can copy this entire things. I click and copy and you can paste into your Word document. So like okay. this, suppose in your MS Office or any other, uh, even the Microsoft uh, Google Docs is not supporting. Kindly use, use this as a tool for the dictations, voice typing. Particularly uh, when the people know, when you're writing a, a, a research article, they're fed up with the typing. Because if you're good with the typing, only you can type uh, very fastly. But for them, this kind of tool is very useful for them. And suppose, even if you're not comfortable with this, I'm having the other tools like a speech texter.com. So even this tool is good for to voice typing. I'm just sharing this. This is called speech texter.com. Um, so still now we are discussing about uh, the two important tools uh, related to uh, voice typing as well as the uh, translator. So if you want, you can take a screenshot of this. This much of tools may be supporting voice typing. Google Docs, even if you're using the Apple version, there is an Apple dictation free software and Google Board even. Uh, so Google Board, there's a spelling mistakes, uh, even in the keyboard, right? So even in your mobile phone also, these features are available. Gboard, or MS Office, Water, Task, key, a Voice Finger, eSpeaking. Even if you're using the Windows 10, there is a speech recognition. Default software is there. So these are the two uh, website links also I attached here. And if you like to go with the translator, we have the different tools like a Google Docs, which I already do the demonstration. We know the Google Translator, Bing, Microsoft Translator. MS Office, uh, we have the translator, reverse translation, DPL, Amazon Translate, and Memsource. These are the softwares might helping for uh, typing. Similarly, suppose you are uh, not having a laptop, you have regularly using a mobile phone only. I'm just suggesting some of the mobile phone uh, uh, based tools also. One minute, just I'd like to share my screen. Just I'd like to share once again my mobile screen. So if a few one minutes, then after I do the demo, even uh, in your mobile phone, you have the uh, free option of the MS Office. Sometimes you may be use the different uh, Office software. Suppose if you are using MS Office, is a good one because what are things we are using the laptop of MS Office? The same features available uh, in the case of a laptop also in the case of mobile. Just I'm trying once again. Oh, sorry. And just to connect with my Wi-Fi, then it may be connected. Yeah, so it's connected now. So hope you are seeing my mobile. So see here, just I'm connecting here my, uh, I'm just showing my MS Word through the mobile, which are the features are available. If I go to the document features, I have a Microsoft Office 365. This is software, uh, I have the paid one. That is the reason I'm just to use the same username password. Uh, from this, I easy to connect it. But if you don't have Microsoft Office 360, don't worry. Just you can install a normal Microsoft Office. These features are also are available. Even there is no need for the payment. Only you need a Microsoft account. That is enough. So just I'm going to the Microsoft Office 365, or you can go with the Microsoft Office, Office the normal version. This is a uh, interface of the Microsoft Office through the mobile version. If you like to do uh, the voice typing, go to the create button. Once you go to the create button, we have the options like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, and Forms. So what are things we're uh, doing in a normal laptop or the MS Office is available in a mobile phone version also. Then go to the Word. Uh, here we have the option called scan text and dictate blank documents and create a template. Uh, suppose if you want to use this kind of features uh, in your laptop, you need a paid version, but the mobile version, it may be supporting here, uh, this kind of feature in the paid version itself. You can go to the dictate. Then after this, 
you have to be stick in front of the system, in front of the mobile. It may be typing uh, the things which is spoke to the uh, in front of the uh, mobile. So now we can see the listening says something to get started. Only the condition you have the good internet connections. After it may be typing. So because I'm connecting with already one Zoom meeting, that is the reason that sound is disturbing. Otherwise, maybe typing. So this way we have to type. Just we can enable it. What I think you're speaking, you may be typing, but I'm not doing the demo now because already that uh, my uh, Zoom also meeting also is going on. That is, it is not be enabled because audio is to be uh, muted there. See, I'm just showing this audio is muted. That is, the reason is not recognizing. Otherwise, may be recognized. Uh, like this, we can type the entire uh, voice typing through this. Similarly, there is one more features available. Uh, uh, this one. If you like to scan any documents, but if you like to convert finally the, uh, the document into editable, that is also possible. You can see here, I'm just going to create option and I'm having some uh, Word documents with me. Yeah. I'm just I'm reading a newspaper, just so you can see here. I'm going to the Word. Then there is an option called scan text, right? Go to the scan text. And the things which you like to scan, you have to be just to scan like this. Without blurring these things, you have to scan. Right. Uh, after this, which portion you like to be uh, do the editing, like uh, converting as a text, just you can press the next button after selecting this. Now it takes a few seconds to be uh, converted. So just I put the save. So now the save process. Yeah, I think this is a newspaper. No, that is the reason. Suppose I'm having any textbook, it may be. Uh, doing the things correctly. So I'm trying with another one because the newspaper don't have that much of good quality of the content. Yeah, I'm trying with another diary which I'm having now. I'm just scanning the same things through scan text. I'm scanning the pages. Yeah. I'm just deleting and doing the retake ones and retake one because we cannot be shake Without shake, you have to be take this photo. Yeah. Now, somewhat is good. I'm go to the next button. Then it's scanned and go to the save. So still is an issue. Okay. If you have a good lighting and if you're scanning it, it might come now. Oh, I think you are not able to hear, see this, right? So there may be a network issue. That is the reason you are not able to view this. So kindly see my mobile. I'm doing the demo from here. Uh, otherwise, I can just stop it. Yeah, once again, I'm sharing the screen. So it's disconnected by display. Yeah. So one minute, just I'm sharing once again my mobile screen. This I'm telling this uh, features only. You can explore from where we are. These are the features available in mobile in a free version. There may be issues in my networking. That is the reason it's not the sharing. I'm trying once again last time. Sorry, it's not recognizing because I'm connected with the same Wi Fi with two or three devices. Due to the network, it's not these uh, mirroring. So, anyway, I'm doing the, uh, I'm just making one video. I'll share it later. So, uh, which are things we done it through the normal uh, laptop based MS office that may be supporting through the mobile phone version also. Only things you have to be uh, install a Microsoft Office mobile version in a mobile phone after you can explore this. And the next two uh, features that's called paraphrasing. We have the different tools like a QLboard that I already I did the demo. Then Jasper A, Word Tune, and Copy AI, and EditPad.org, then Fraces I wore, uh, rewarding, uh, reword, dot I wore. These are the tools. Uh, it is related to the AA only because if you are providing one paragraph, it may be doing the paraphrasing and finally it gives the different output. So for this, we are using paraphrasing. Even the chat GPT also, the same features available. Suppose you are pasting one paragraph, you are requesting the chat GPT to do the paraphrasing, the chat GPT is doing the same thing, right? Instead of the chat GPT, we want to use the different tools, you can uh, explore this. And the other one is called plagiarism detector. As, uh, University faculty, we have the some of the subscriptions from the university. That is the reason we are using the Turnitin Grammarly. 
Um, but the QLBOT is a uh, partial free option. So the, there is a tool called Zero GPT. It's not a uh, chat GPT. Uh, for the plagiarism checking, there is a tool called G uh, Zero GPT. Uh, it provides maximum 1,000 word support to uh, checking the plagiarism and all. Then copyleaks.com, plug.ai, pltext.com, markcopy.ai, duplicate checker. These are the websites uh, or the web tools might help to check in the plagiarism as because plagiarism also checking also is part of the AI because it's may recognizing our content and maybe matching with the already existing content with the online. So finally it's showing that this much of plagiarism come for this particular article and all. And the other one is called grammar checker. So that she knows most of the people are using Grammarly and uh, Qlbot. Qlbot having the plenty of features because just I'm showing this uh, Qlbot. Uh, in the Qlbot, we can find out the plenty of options. Uh, what are things you like to do in the research part, particularly for the grammar, plagiarism, for all the things it may be supporting. One minute, I just move into my, yeah. So I'm just going to the Qlbot. Yeah, so here, see here in the Qlbot. Um, in our university, we have some kind of free subscriptions we have, the premium subscriptions. So you can see this is here option for grammar checker, plagiarism checker, co-writer, summarize, citation generator, translator. So all the features are available. And as I already mentioned that the QL boat, the boat represents robot, right? Robot, uh, the part of the, the robot, uh, the terms they used as the QL boat. And uh, one more feature, one more advantage is while using the QL boat, even we can install this QL boat as one of your uh, plugin or uh, the extension software in your laptop. So see here, I'm showing the, the normal Word documents of English. Now you can see this is my English uh, Word file. Here we have the options. Here we have the option Grammarly uh, because I already installed a Grammarly a plugin. Uh, similarly, I added a QLBOT. So these are the things is very much essential for the research scholars, other research supervisor like us. So better to be installed this kind of add-in, okay, or this kind of extension uh, laptop. Because there is no need to uh, always to be connected with web resources. We have to add this kind of things through uh, plugin softwares. That will be good because uh, we can directly connect with the Word document to check the grammar and check, check with this kind of paraphrasing and all. It may be reduce our work. So for this, I hope you know how to do this. Just you can go to QLBOT and QLBOT uh, Word extension, the Microsoft Word extension, you have to download after you can install. Similarly, Grammarly Word extension you have to go uh, type and install it. So this is where to be installed this kind of uh, features, ah, this kind of add-in softwares. Now I move to the chat GPT. Um, so how the chat GPT may going to be act as a game changer in the case of researcher. <clears throat> so as we already know how to use a chat GPT and all, but I'm going to give you one tips for you uh, because the last uh, session we are uh, exploring directly through the URL only. So how we have to be reach the chat GPT through the URL, right? But I'm going to give you one more features that is called uh, install a web chat GPT as an extension of the Chrome. So what is the advantage? Just like to tell you, compared to the uh, the normal way to connect with the chat GPT, see here, if you want to go to the chat GPT, you have to type like this. Then after this, you have to go uh, in uh, open AI then open a.com, then after this, there may be interface, then you can go with the type chat GPT. So this is steps you have to do. And then after this, you have to go with the login. If I already done a login, it goes directly to the chat GPT. And now we can see the chat GPT of this interface, it is an offline, please kindly note. Uh, yeah, so now you can get this web access also because I'm done a web access based uh, Ext uh, extension that is the reason you are finding the web access right so if you don't need a web access that you have to disable it if you need a web access we have to enable it so you, even the two days before when you are discussing about chat gpt some of the participants you are asking sir we are not getting the citations right but when you enable the web access we may get the citation and uh, it may give the web content also look like a google no when you uh, asking uh, any queries the google is providing nearly 10 or 15 contents the similar way if you enable the web access, it also providing nearly 10 results. Suppose you want to go with web access, only one result, you have to fix the one result. You want to go with the 10 results, you have to press the 10 results. 
So I am already running a Google Chrome extension. That is the reason is automatically this kind of web access may comes. So I request all of you first you have to be install a plugin software or Google Chrome extension. For this, I'm giving you one uh, demo for you. First, what you have to do, you have to type uh, in the Google like uh, chat. Uh, yeah, you have to type like web chat GPT extension. So web chat GPT extension. For this, you have to be connected with the Google Chrome. If you are using the Google Chrome, only this kind of features are available. If you are using another browser, you have to type with this, right? For example, web chat, uh, web chat, uh, chat GPT of the that particular uh, browser name, and after that you can ask the extension. So here I am having the browser Chrome. That is the reason I am typing web chat GPT extension. After this, just put the enter. Then it may be finding a first search result web chat GPT. Then after this you can go here. Uh, if you click here, it asking to be installed a extension. Very simple process. I am already done install. That is the reason showing the remove from Chrome. So I am doing the one second the process. So just I am removing after that I am telling how to install it. So just try and remove this, right? Uh, if you like to install it, you may get this kind of interface, web chat GPT. And you can find this option called add to Chrome. Just so you can uh, install a add Chrome. It asking to add extension. You have to press the add extension. It takes few seconds to be installed. It. Yeah, now it's installed. After the installation, one thing you have to do, you have to be uh, made and enabled like a, a pin, pin this particular software. Otherwise, you cannot find this here. This is called as a Google Chrome extension. All the tools which is visible. No, for me, everything I already made is a pin. Suppose if you are not pinned that particular software, it won't be visible in this bar. For this, what you have to do? There is an extension symbol. Just to compress the extension symbol. You have to find out the tools, web chat GPT. Then there is a pin symbol. If you pin it, you can find out the chat GPT here. So hereafter, if you want to uh, go to the chat GPT, there is no type chat GPT. Instead of that, just you can go to the browser and uh, click this uh, the press button and directly press the GPT. So there is a GPT in the Chrome now. If you press the GPT, you can find out this interface. In this interface, only you have the web access also. Right. Suppose if you are not using the Chrome extension, you cannot find the web access. What is the advantage of using the web access? You can get some kind of web resource also. Then you may get some kind of citation, like uh, uh, some kind of number maybe showing. Once you press the number, the citation number, it goes to the website link, like a hyperlink based is working. And uh, here I like to emphasize how the chat GPT going to be act as a game changer uh, as part of the research. I'm doing this, some demo for this. Uh, one minute, I'm just close to my eye. Uh, so I'm coming to the other slide. So here, the first one, I already done a demo. They install a web chat GPT extension through the uh, Chrome that uh, I hope you understood. I hope you understood, no? Those are you understood, you can type you in the chat box. Hope you understood how to do the uh, plugin, do the installation, the plugin or the extension. Otherwise I can do once again, okay? So thank you, Sindhu sir, ma'am. Yeah, fine, fine. Thank you all. Thank you. So now I move to the the other important uh, things which is related to the chat GPT. Suppose uh, you want to uh, write a title, or you are doing your students going to be um, uh, do the research under your guidance, but you may have the doubts what the topic I had given to them, and uh, what kind of unique topic we have to provide to the learners. And like like this, lot of confusion we have. So here the chat GPT providing a uh, research title also. It may be such as the title also. For example, see here, and just to going to my uh, yeah. chat GPT and just to move to the chat GPT now. Yeah. So here you can ask the title. So suggest a title. Suggest a PhD research title. Research title uh, for the uh, for the uh, for the area of Suppose uh, I like to do the research related to the uh, artificial intelligence to my scholar, or I like to do some project work. You have to type like this, suggest a PhD research title or the project title in the area of artificial intelligence, intelligence in education. Like this, you can type this specific area just to press the return. So once you type it here, uh, now you can find out the first one is a web, search, web results as told no. Because if you enable the web result, it's showing some of the website related conduct. So there is a URL and all, just you can click and you can explore it. 
but the second portion is the title now you can see based on the search results these are the various artificial intelligence could be applied in education the title so it's giving a very wonderful title designing personalized learning experience with ai a case study of recommender systems in higher education this is a title is suggest for me and you can see some of the link also available it's like a hyperlink suppose you want to explore um, because the last time we were discussing why this chat gpt is not providing a citation now we have the citation only thing we have to enable the web access once you enable the web access we have this kind of citations right uh, if you like to click it here it may be go to the hive link for example just time press this it goes to the the website so this way it's like a one chapter of four of uh, the a in education it's showing like this from this we have to use it to know right suppose i i feel that this title is not that much of good just i'm asking once again please provide some more topic some more topic uh, uh, so when i asked to please provide some more topic now it is providing some more topic also see here the effectiveness of communication study in the workplaces a comparative study of verbal and written communications exploring the impact of artificial intelligence on the future employment opportunities and challenges assessing the benefits and risks of the blockchain technology so somewhat is related to the ai and it's give the different title for the pgst right so from this year to sorry suppose still you are not comfortable you can go with this so provide a catchy title catchy title uh, in the area of ai suppose you write to write an article then you can ask like this it may be providing a different the first result is a web access suppose you don't need this kind of web results you can disable this you may get only the uh, the results of uh, chat gpt only now one potential catchy title of the research in the area of ai empowering education with artificial intelligence opportunity challenges and ethical consideration is providing a wonderful title another title and see here there is a citation also there is a citation if you proceed you may get this different uh, references materials another open uh, options could be artificial intelligence in education transforming teaching learning process like this i may get the different uh, title this is a one be, be, uh, best futures in the case of uh, yeah, chat gpt it may be recommended the different title and the next one support you you want to write a research abstract very shortly very short you have already some kind of research uh, abstract but you want to minimize to 200 word 300 word what you have to do so first you can open your word document so i am already published one article for this just i'm doing the demo for example this is an article which i published recently in the scopus suppose i feel that this the abstract i want to be reduce it for 100 words or 200 words so what do you have to do you have to be right uh, clearly yeah so summarize here yeah. or shorten the shorten the abstract into 200 words so like this you can type after this you have to be paste this i already copied this uh, research uh, abstract no i can paste like this now you can see i pasted after that put the enter now you can see here now i may get the 200 words of uh, abstract so it may be reading and uh, finally it may be converted to 200 even though uh, now i feel that there is no need for 200 i like to uh, compress only 100 what you have to do so shorten only 100 words you can type like this because it will be continuing with this previous question automatically may given the sorted to 100 words now you can see the study aim to determine the attitudes of high schools to teachers towards the education sustained development like this give the only 100 words suppose i feel that i want to be extend nearly 1000 words of this paragraph you can type like this extend 1000 words of this abstract so the, there is no need to paste one second the abstract because already in the uh, in the database they kept their our abstract therefore what did happen you don't need to uh, paste one second uh, regularly for this abstract once you paste it the similar there you are out. not audible i am not audible to all of you audible. i am audible no, you are audible sir you are audible. Yes. audible sir 
yeah yeah please kindly check sir, yeah thank you thank you please kindly check your net connection sir so now we can see you may get this more than 1000 words of the um, abstract right so like this it may be helping us if you have one paragraph you can tell that whether you need to be extended or is shorted it may helping like anything and you can check this plagiarism also suppose if it showing the plagiarism then you can go with some kind of uh, what is that paraphrasing tool to be modified otherwise you can ask this paraphrasing also it may be helping us so now we are discussing uh, the, these things so as i already mentioned that for the chat gpt is a game changer the first one i already mentioned that how the chat gpt is providing a research title now it's providing a short in the research abstract suppose you want to find the appropriate title for that paragraph see here uh, i'm already copied this paragraph right so you can ask the chat gpt right uh, uh, yeah suggest a title uh, for this for the abstract so already we kept this uh, abstract no i already uh, paste this abstract there is a there is a reason i didn't type once again the abstract or i didn't paste this once again the abstract just you can ask the question suggest the title for the abstract now we can see exploring because based on the uh, content which i posted is suggesting exploring the high school teachers attitude towards the education sustainable development for uh, implication education reforms actually the original title this one just i'm showing this original title this is the original teachers attitude towards the uh, education for sustainable development a descriptive research but now the chat gpt providing a different title exploring the high school teachers attitude towards education for sustainable development even though i feel that it is not that much of good so i'm uh, just asking suggest some more i am asking suggest some more title so you can ask continuously the questions it provide a different different answer now you can see is providing the different answers attitude of high school teachers towards education sustainable development and nor normative survey so it's providing more than eight title or nine title from this we have to take a the title which is more appropriate for you suppose even i don't feel this is good so i'm just asking to the things provide a catches title provide very attractive title so in so as it provide very attractive it is providing the attractive title like this empowering teachers for the sustainable future and exploring the attitude towards the education sector and development in high, uh, high schools like this provide a different title so now i hope understood how the chat gpt may helping us for providing the title if you are pasting the uh, abstract see here another uh, thing then frame the research question suppose you want to uh, frame the research question for the area of uh, artificial intelligence see here uh, but um, or the previous posted content though for this i am asking the uh, research question so just i move to the chat gpt once again yeah so i am asking the queries here suggest some uh, research question for this abstract for this for this uh, title here some research question see here it suggests the different research questions also so suppose you are pasting a abstract you can ask this based on the abstract or based on the introduction it provide the different abstract otherwise you can provide the title and you can ask the chat gpt kindly suggest some of the research question or uh, research hypothesis may be providing so here some of the research question also how can education for sustainable development be effectively integrated in high school curriculums what role of the uh, do teachers play in the promoting education for sustainable development it may be suggested in different way but we have to check with this because we have the limitation in the research we have the limit and delimitation based on the we have to select a appropriate research question so we could not be take it as it is the research question which suggested by chat gpt based on our limitation delimitation we have to uh, take it something suppose even i am not much comfortable with this so please provide few more so i'm asking please for a few more so the because that the continuity the if you're asking the question there is no need to ask uh, or paste the the similar questions once again similar things you have to no need to paste because we are asking the question continuously therefore based on this the chat gpt is providing the answer 
so now we can see uh, he is proving some other things how do high school students attitudes towards the ESG is working like this given the answer now just i'm going to the other one provide a relevant article uh, for the reviews and references suppose you need to find some of the reviews um, generally we are using the google scholar only but this is a tool it may be success the reviews also for this one thing you have to do you have to enable this web access because the reviews we need a hyperlink and other things and all and enabling the web access so as i already mentioned the web access means if you want to connect with because it may be searching from the internet resource and it gives the answer for this we have to enable the web access suppose i am asking the question uh, kindly suggest the uh, some references some references for the area of artificial intelligence so first i am asking the references right so now first thing i got the web research right the second one i get some of the uh, website research sure here some references in the area of artificial intelligence i may get see here now the machine is providing a very attractive uh, uh, very important uh, references is providing to me so these are the references provide to me suppose i need only the reference that i want to the summary like a uh, review we need a summary of this article no just i am asking this provide the summary provide the summary uh, summary of, of the uh, references or summary of the articles i am asking this questions so now the chat gpt is typing because it may be uh, reading this particular article and finally i am sorry but cannot provide a summary article without knowing the oh which is article you are referring okay okay then you can emphasize just i like to copy this one and copying this one and asking the questions because we knows how to ask the question to the chat gpt right suppose it's not working just you can click it here and i am asking the questions okay provide a summary i am pasting this yeah so i am asking the question provide a summary so i just yeah now we can see there is a uh, summary of this report so it gives the summary right so it gives the name the artificial intelligence uh, in the year 2016 the report examined the potential impact of ai in the eight domains of the type of the urban setting the transportation home and service robots all of the things this report described the current states of ai the emission of potential advances of the life ahead, ahead and all so this is called reviews right thus we can copy and paste in for our research or if you like to do some the meta analysis you can copy all the reviews and uh, references and you can ask the summary it do some kind of meta analysis also so for this also we can use this kind of uh, tool yeah just i'm moving to yeah provide a yeah, tips for research suppose you want to ask some kind of tips if you are asking that um, uh, chat gpt kind of provide some tips for doing the research in the area of artificial intelligence it's also providing to us just i'm doing the demo provide provide your yeah, tips provide some tips uh, for doing the research in the area of artificial intelligence in education okay so it providing some tips also for the research it gives even if you have the doubts how to do the experimentation you can ask the questions it may give the answer right after reviewing these provided website resources here some of the tips of doing the research is providing some kind of link also content analysis very good so see here it's providing a wonderful tips for me for doing the research in the uh, artificial intelligence and it gives a citation also see here conduct a content analysis extreme studies this can help identify the current research trends stay informed and the current development of trends in ai in education this can help you to identify the gaps to current research you explore the potential impact of ai in education this can help to identify the potential research questions in the area of explorations like this provide a different uh, a tips for me to do the further uh, uh, area of the research and uh, so like this it may helping us also it may be providing tips for research and uh, suppose you uh, you like to do your quantitative research instead of qualitative research uh, you want to uh, describe about the data sets that also it may be helping only things you need your data sets for example see here just i'm going for a data set 
I'm already having one uh, Excel sheet. So I'm having one Excel sheet. So you want to know what is the data sets, right? Just you can copy this data set and just copy the data set. I'm copying the data set. I'm going to the chat GPT now. I'm going to the chat GPT. So describe the data set. So I'm asking to describe the data set and just to paste this data and enter it. Now you can see, you may get a wonderful answer. So all the data is available. I'm sorry, but the queries produced appears to data. It's a sample without a specific question context. Okay. Okay. And just I'm asking, I'm just modifying the questions. So there is a question for Sabin. Can we probably ask to write a complete piece and stuff? Of course, it sometimes may be helping us also, right? Uh, because you need to be high, high, uh, highlight. So how many paragraph you need? If you're asking this specific so question, maybe give this answer also, right? Only things pleasure is some kind of pleasure when it comes, right? Yeah. So now just uh, I can yeah explain the data sets. I'm asking to explain the data. Data refers, yeah, it's giving this data only. Okay. So I'm asking the different way. Briefly explain, briefly explain the data, the following data. Okay. I'm just asking this kind of question I'm pasted with this data. We can see what happened, what will happen. So now I pasted these questions, regenerate the responses. No, so here the question is the right. One minute, it's a hang. So there was an error, it came. So I'm just refreshing once again. Yeah, so I'm doing the same thing. There was an error, right. Briefly explain the data, the following data. Okay. So I'm just disabling the web access also. So see here, now it's uh, explaining. Uh, sir, uh, as yesterday itself, I told no. So this is now it's not working with the visual representation. It's not providing any kind of uh, framework or in a visual format, but it gives only the, the theoretical insights only. But now we can see here, so very wonderful because I pasted, see once again, I'm showing my data sets. After that, you can understand how it would be describing. This is my data set, right? So not this is a data set. Just I'm showing my data set. Uh, yeah, this is my data sets. It's having a, a nearly 20 uh, row and uh, gender qualification, locality management. These are my variable. So this is here my data sets, but now we can see how it is giving this answer. The given data sample appears table of 20 rows and 10 columns and the column represent attributes, including gender, qualification, locality management, college, everything is highlighted and gender is showing this one to one is a male and two is a female. Even I didn't uh, tell one, whether one is a male and female, but it recognizes correctly. And it, talking about the intelligence, intelligence scores range from 56 to 98. All the details is explaining by the machines, so right? The chat GPT. Uh, sir, can you ask uh, chat GPT to, uh, to give us the relationship between gender and qualification in the following data and just paste yeah, the data? Yeah, 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 yeah. Find out the association, I'm just asking this, okay. Between the gender and uh, uh, intelligence okay Quali qualification was the attribute okay oh you can see this to find out the association between the gender and intelligence we have to form a perform a statistic analysis oh it's finding some kind of mean and female mean so there is a male mean and female mean of the uh intelligence then using the significance of the 0 0.05 oh p value is finding the t scores huh? now you can see he's doing the t analysis so the T score is P value is 1.14. It's related to the less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. Conclude that there is a statistically significant difference between the mean intelligence scores between male and female. So it's doing this T test. Suppose you like to do that association of the chi square. We can try this. We can try this. Okay. 
find out the association between gender and qualification right what is the exact use of web access qualification sorry web access no that is you may provide some web link from the website link but i disabled now so now we checking this the gender and qualifications the qualification one and two yeah sir we can get this the tabulation also like uh, well, the calculated person is determined the male qualification 18. It's like a cross table. It's come the cross table. So it's showing the female scores. Well, it's the column, the column percentage, row percentage. From this table, we observe that the male qualification one and more females. It's not uh, now the chi square also is going to attempt. So now it's doing the chi square. But doing a statistic analysis also may helping us and it gives the interpretation also. Are you able to see, sir? It's giving this yeah, now i think it, it it really clarify that how thousands of people already lost their job after the introduction <laughs> of <their GPA. laughs> yeah yeah that is why see here it's providing a chi square result and interpretation also so it's a great okay so there is no use of statistician yeah of course in future is not needed because sitting, the chat may be helping us right sitting <laughs> see no need to attend the uh, departmental coursework also sitting at home we can finish our phd thesis in one month if we have uh, data in our GPT. hand so only the things if you know how to ask the question the chat gpt you are a great researcher right so only things we have to know how to ask the questions so if you know the way to ask the questions we give the answer now previously they are done by the t test now it's done the chi square test right and gives us wonderful result also so can you please the access seat for testing a data access seat for practice? I will share it sir, finally, okay? So, yeah, so just I am already mentioned this one. Um, can I? Just, yeah, please sir, please. Can you give uh, some ideas about some invention, some new invention that you can think of? What kind of invention, sir, please? Um, let's say some invention that is not known uh, does it have that much of extension in thinking? You can ask the questions. I just directly type the questions. So what is your questions? You can ask me. Just I'm directly type the questions. <clears throat> for example, okay, invent some new technology for communication, for example. Invention of new technology? Communication. For communication, huh? Oh, yes. yes, we can see this. Example. New techniques for communications. So it's detecting the invention of new technology for companies for uh, resolving the way we interact with another. So it's giving some kind of uh, social media platforms. It's showing some of the platform names, the communication purpose, which are the platforms we are using, social media. Yeah, of course, for asking the question, we need a domain name. Uh, we had to short, we know to know how to ask the question. Uh, in a high order thinking as well as the lower order thinking. So if he knows the way uh, to ask the questions in a different format, we may be the expertise. <clears throat> For example, can yeah. you can it, uh, Hello. Can you reply some, let's say a new language, something which is not existing, and can you think of some new language? Sir, uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I uh, I already mentioned that this is a software. It working up to two thousand twenty one database, right? So suppose if you are asking the, the current uh, technology, it won't be telling the exact results because it's working up to the two thousand twenty one database after the December. If you are asking, if you are asking about the yesterday, uh, uh, what is that uh, invention? It won't be give the answer. So they are doing regularly the updation. So very soon we may get this that kind of current updation also, but now it won't be worked with the, the latest one. No, what I'm saying, maybe you can think of some feature, feature uh, language or technique. But can you type or... the question, your voice is some kind of fluctuations there. I'm not hearing your voice clearly. Can you type the question in the chat book? Is it possible, sir? Your voice, some kind of fluctuations there. <clears throat> I yeah. mean, can yeah, you... Now yeah, please, you can ask me now. Okay. Can you suggest some future technology, for example, that which is not still 
uh, in vogue or in practice or yeah we can also future technology uh, can you suggest the future technology in classroom sir in classroom or where uh, if i just one question sir if if i am getting sir uh, correctly if you ask yeah. it that uh, suggest some new element beyond periodic table table oh okay clear new elements for beyond the periodic table beyond periodic table yes currently is it okay yeah I say language. I don't have the ability to suggest new elements of the periodic table, so it's oh. not telling. Okay, the current periodic table only showing this. Right, right. So he doesn't think. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it is not. That is why because uh, the latest one, the, the database not having no the details. So what is the existing up to two thousand twenty one? That one is cited here. See here, the current periodic table includes all the elements. These are the elements that are like this. It's showcasing to us. Thanks. Yes, sir. Thanks. Okay, thank you. So, as I already mentioned, that uh, that describe the data. We already do the demo. Do the data analysis. That is the uh, things we already done the demo. How it's doing the t-test. How do the any chi square test and all. Suppose you want to do a mean median. For example, you can copy it one uh, only one uh, column. And if you want to know the mean median mode, that also may be given to us. Just to uh, show. I'm just doing this demo now. So I'm taking for a few more minutes. Yeah, so just I'm copying only this intelligence code. We can see the score, the means or descriptive statistics. So I just pasted. We can see what is this. Now we can Sorry. see the mean, median, mode, and range. I get the, all these courses, standard deviation, variance, everything I may get into this. So if you pasted the data, it will go the answer, and it get writing interpretation also. And suppose you have already data, you have already having this output. You want to write an interpretation, or you like to write a uh, report uh, uh, interpretation you want. That also may be existing. See, for this, I'm just doing one more demo. If you have the table with you, for example, this is an article. Suppose I'm just copying this table. I'm copying this table, and I'm asking the question to the chat GPT. Describe the table. I'm pasting this table and just enter it. Now you can see here. So the table provides a descriptive statistics for the data, including sample size. So it's providing the n and mean and give the interpretation also. The mean is 115.41. The median is 117. The mode is 129 and the standard deviation value. So everything is provided. Okay. So therefore, damn sure the chat GPT may be game changer. Only things. It may be giving us like a spoon feeding. So as already Sar told, no. So it may be reduce the people's jobs and all. So that is only the uh, issues we are going to face it. Just I'm going to conclude in what way the chat GPT may act as a game changer. So it may be help. Uh, only the one thing you have to do, you have to install a Google Chrome extension of the chat GPT. Then we may get this web uh, web access. Otherwise, you cannot get this web, web link and all. And it may be helping to reduce the uh, abstract. Even if you want to find out a catchy title for the abstract, you can depend on this. Suppose you want to write a title, you want to develop here, uh, or you like to uh, prepare a, uh, uh, doing the research, you need a title, you can ask to the chat GPT. And if you like to develop your research questions, or if you want to collect your reviews, that also it may be recommending for us. And provide a uh, tips for the research. Suppose you have the doubts about the, uh, uh, experimentations or you'd like to have the doubts about how we can do the experimentation how to control the uh, this one what is this uh, um, some kind of issues while doing the sampling procedure you can approach them it may be give the science for us sampling procedure and all other things and it may be explain the describe the data and even it may doing the statistic analysis t-test f-test all the tests might be doing 
and describe the statistical tables. Suppose you face the tables, you may be writing uh, things. Uh, it may be uh, writing uh, uh, what is this description also, like interpretation also. So can ChatGPT write a literature reviews? I already done a uh, demo, ma'am. First we uh, Sindhuja, ma'am. First you have to ask the reviews. Then after this, the, you can copy the particular uh, uh, references. You can ask to summary the references, uh, summary the content of the particular article. It may be give summary, one paragraph, two paragraph. So like this way, it may be give this uh, literature review also. So like this, uh, our chat GPT may helping us a lot. Hope you understood the, the importance of the chat GPT in the case of uh, research. So now if you have any doubts or you'd like to add some more points, please kind of ask me. Thank you so much for your patient listening. Please. Sindhuja, ma'am, that's why it's not writing as it is what, you, what you're asking to the chat GPT. Uh, it not write uh, the entire uh, research paper. If you're asking a questions in a different manner, it may provide in a different, different way. You can compile all the things and make it as a research article, right? It's not like a spoon feeding. That's why I told you, if you know the way to ask the questions, the JGBD is providing their uh, answers. You have to collect it and you have to do some kind of introspect uh, with their, uh, the material which you got it. And you can do some kind of uh, yeah, analysis, write an article with your end. So don't cut and copy. It does not be fair. Okay. But it may be suggesting, right? Yeah. So any other questions? Yeah, of course, it may be a company for enriching our knowledge, right? Because everybody's cup of tea is not a language. If you have the content knowledge, but you want to be, uh, uh, what is that? Even suppose you are writing by one, you can paste the, the one paragraph or two paragraph, and you can tell the chat GPT to revamp the, uh, the paragraph or restructure the paragraph. It may be suggested. Instead of depends on 100% the chat GPT, first we have to write by our own. Then we have to copy it and paste it into the chat GPT and we have to ask to the revamp or we have to change to the reshaping. That will be fine. Yeah, any other? Any other queries? What does zero uh, GPT do basically? Is it just antidote for chat GPT? No, 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 no. That is for the as they already own We can go to this. So zero GPT. <coughs> as I already mentioned, it is the uh, plagiarism detector. You have to paste this and it may be check the plagiarism. It is not a chat GPT, but it's linked will to it some be, kind will of will it be detecting the text which has been generated to chat GPT? Yeah, of course, I think so. Okay, I didn't explore it up to now. So enter the chat, uh, take the check. Just copy some text from your chat GPT window and see. Yeah, we can see this. Yeah, good. I think I closed the chat GPT window. One minute, just I'm opening chat GPT window. So I'm just to copy. Just this asking one. a random abstract question, so that will be because this will be related to data only, so it might be difficult to to grab. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I pasted one paragraph. This. Okay. Mm. So most of your text is a GPT generated. Wow, it's showing exactly what you said. Okay, is congratulations. The GPT. You found yeah, something yeah. interesting now. Yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So whether the people are copying from the chat GPT that it is detecting. <laughs> From the zero GPT. So that's fine. Chat GPT detected by zero GPT. Okay, fine. Thank you, sir. So, any other queries? Yes, sir. Someone asking, can we probably ask the writer complete thesis statement? Some questions in the chat box, sir. Some questions are in the chat box. So you can see. Can I, yeah, yes, can uh, I identify? Sabina uh, asked me. Um, Sindhuja, ma'am, uh, if you want to identify the research gap, what you have to do, what are the uh, review you collected, you can paste in the chat GPT. After that, you can ask the question. So, so what is that research gap from this? That may be suggest the research gap, right? First, we have to, then it's fine. First, we need to collect a review. Then after that, you have to paste all and you can ask to the chat GPT. Uh, another one is Sindhuja. 
और कैन इंस्टॉल द कॉन्सेप्चुअल मॉडल ऑफ थ्योरेटिकल फ्रेमवर्क दैट्स व्हाई इट इज ओन शो इट्स ओन शोइंग द विजुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन so it's straight up to now it's only the if you want to get this concept understanding only the theoretic is supposed to be doing it not providing any kind of diagramic representations of the answer even not providing the images suppose you are asking kind of suggest some model uh, 2d model 3d model it won't suggest it so kind of just i'm asking this kindly uh, explain the t pack okay <laughs> another one another one question is uh, we uh, sindhuja as we copy and paste interpretation provided by the chat gpt paper will short clearing one minute i will check it okay so i must the question kindly explain the tpack by diagram see here so it won't be do any kind of diagram up to now it only the theoretical way only this text content only is given to us At least we are ah. thinking about it till now. Tomorrow topic, the boom. So if you have copy and paste the interpretation provided by Chat GPT in paper, will it show the plagiarism? Madam, that is why uh, uh, if you have the zero GPT, we can check whether you are copying from the Chat GPT. So it may be checking with this. For checking the plagiarism, whether you copy from the Chat GPT for the real zero GPT. Suppose we are using the other software, it won't be showing. But when you using the zero GPT, we can able to find out whether you are copying from the Chat GPT. But other software won't be detected, right? Uh, sir, can I have a question? Uh, yes, please. Sir. Yeah, sir. Uh, I am Shubhakar again. Uh, yes, sir, sir, I am. Yeah, my question is that uh, that you find that how uh, as my colleague also, Parani sir has. Uh, Wonderfully identified that zero GPT, which also detects the plagiarism, particularly through AI tool. Now, uh, whether it is uh, ethical or whatever, that is the secondary part. Uh, whether it is legal or illegal, first question and now. Secondly, uh, if I uh, write my own article, for example, as you rightly suggested, we, we will write our own language, and we will try to rephrase that through this GPT, for example. But the original content and the work is mine only. But only the paraphrasing is done through uh, AI. Now, if I use this AI uh, uh, delivered content, particularly paraphrased content, if I do that uh, 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 plagiarism check through zero GPT, will it show plagiarized or what it is? Because the content is mine only. What I have things I have written by mine, the research inputs are mine only. Only I am using uh, this. Uh, Chat GPT just for a rephrasing uh, part only. I will use it as a rephrasing tool. But if yeah, I yeah, use, if yeah. I check the plagiarism checker on the zero GPT, will it show it is my content or the AI content? Uh, sir, but uh, the content you are copying for AI, no? Therefore, zero GPT is showing this and it's a plagiarism. But if you are using any other software other than the zero GPT, it won't detect as here. Uh, what is this plagiarism? Suppose you are using the Quill Bot. From this, you are doing the paraphrasing of your paragraph. You could not find this. You got it because the Quill Bot is giving a different way the word formations and all. And uh, the plagiarism or the ethics or legal is based on the individual, right? Uh, so even uh, some of the people are totally against with the Quill Bot. Some people yes. they are very much uh, what is that I, I accepting this Quill Bot? It's based on the individual. So mm -hmm. what I class from the the science background people, the science background peoples they have a the lot of. Um, Uh, what is the journals they have? They are easy to publish, but the source science is very difficult to publish them, yes, right? Yes, sir. And uh, most of the science background people they totally against this kind of Quill Bot or this kind of Chat GPT and other things. But social people, social science people, they are accepting the thing. Uh, so that is why uh, we cannot um, ex exactly tell that whether it is legal or illegal. It may be supporting. That is why because we need to depends on some of the technology for leading on the further our academic life right we cannot totally against anything but particularly when the internet comes the people are against but now all the people knowingly and unknowingly we are using it right yeah. we are addict to use so the technology nowadays the people's uh, the advanced technology mdd the people may be criticizing but gradually they may accepting And they may understand the importance, and parallelly they may lead with this kind of technology and also. Right, sir. So it's right, based sir, on the individual people. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry to confuse you. 
sir what what no. i learned from my uh, friends my uh, colleagues is that uh, nowadays these focus uh, uh, yes. publishers particularly all mm. those uh, reputed uh, journals they mm. do also check uh, the plagiarism through their normal softwares also and simultaneously they run this uh, ai uh, plagiarism tools also that is what i heard yes. but i don't know how much true is it since mm-hmm. uh, you are from this domain you may have a much more idea on this sir what do you because in that case uh, this mm-hmm. tool will not be useful in that case this is my uh, yeah yeah so it, for example uh, nowadays no one can much aware about the ai based uh, even the grammarly there is a partially ai qlbot is an ai and turnit also it uh, working with ai only but whether the a supporting the uh, uh, a uh, detected uh, software is there uh, that is a questionable that is why the zero gpt is there but in future there may be chances all this corpus gen they may be checked that kind of uh, plagiarism also whether we are depends on some other a tools for writing an article they may have the chances okay so this based on the journal also because some journals you know the different uh, amount is there and some journals totally free some journals totally is a payment it depends on the okay. journal right so they can fix the rules and regulation by themselves by right? the rules right sir. right sir. so until until something yes anyone else yeah yeah, yeah. can i can I'll i give your feedback uh, right in the average and good so uh, there are the 43 uh, participant kindly give your uh, feedback this session how was session write down here yes 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 some people are right here but uh, some are not right kindly give your feedback regarding this session so how was this i would like to okay, share this with all experience yes please uh, sir can i yeah, yeah please sir please. sir can you uh, actually uh, introduce yourself sir? actually we are not uh, uh, okay are, i'm ranveer please, uh, yeah, I'm Ranbir. I teach here in Central University of Jammu, and currently I'm placed in Jammu itself. Uh, I would like to share that long time back, almost just 25 years back, uh, somewhere in 96, 97, or 98, when I started using computer itself. Mm-hmm. So I started using a, a chatbot kind of thing. It was its name was Eliza. Oh, yeah. So okay. it was a character user interface. It's mm-hmm. a but. because it was in a very inception phase of this chatbot so that that whole software thing was lacking the reasoning and logic in itself which i experienced now i would like to see that this chat gpt is a much advanced version of of those kind of thing where reasoning and logic has been introduced and this is also just machine based learning the kind of question yeah. which people are asking it is also just it is it in itself is just building its inventory for for further uh, future answer exactly but again i would like to uh, see that i would like to uh, mention this famous uh, educational sociologist uh, professor abhijit patel he rightly said that uh, at this moment our educational institution they are just working just like photocopy machine they are producing just control c control v for all the students so we are not training student to ask novel questions and chat gpt is basically uh, questioning questioning the question itself yeah, so yeah, if you'll yeah. be qu- framing the question nicely if you'll be just asking novel question then it will be leading to to novel ideas no doubt about that thing but uh, the other participants when they were asking about about the that how this uh, plagiarism checking uh, is 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 working within the within within all these journals i think it's a, it's a huge huge disciplinary uh, exploration in this direction that some entity whose whole uh, existence is depending upon the novelty of idea all these journal they are working hardly for for to to check all these kind of places can you come with your video sir can you come uh, with your video uh, ranveer singh uh, yes, please uh, uh, i am sitting in a, in a dark room at this moment so i would like to just speak oh. for myself okay. Uh, okay but next time i will try to do that okay. so i would like to say that i i am really hopeful that all these journals because uh, 
as we just see witness at this moment the zero day gpt is just completely just telling us that what the text has been generated through chat through yes. ai bot itself yeah so i think that in near future is quite possible so definitely we cannot rely 100% on chat gpt but particularly for for pg level assignments and all where uh, it's a very difficult proposition to check everything through through uh, plagiarism checkers and all this will be a very challenging task no doubt about that but it's a wonderful session thanks surya sir uh, thank you thank you ranveer sir for your insight wonderful insight okay mm -hmm. And uh, the way yes, you are anyone? giving this responses are very good. Okay, so we have to think about that way also. That's fine, sir. Thank you. So uh, any other stories? Actually, someone uh, want to ask the question, but they are not asked so in the chat box. Uh, there is a question from someone, sir, somebody, uh, someone asked, can it write a research paper, sir? It's so uh, write a research paper. Yes, sir. That's why I told her. So it may be writing a research paper, but we have to be asked the questions in a proper manner. It won't write as it is what you're expecting, right? We have to ask the different questions. We have to compile all the answers. Then finally, we have to write it by our own. End. Then it's fine. So there is a question, sir. One sir is asking that whether we are providing the notes. Surely the entire PPT which I'm using, the last day I'm sharing to uh, through the Zoom itself. So there is a file uploading. There is I'm sharing all the PPT. Uh, Ranveer, sir, you want to ask any question? Uh, don't want to ask okay sir i think uh, we should end it here uh, we will tomorrow a new topic chat gpt a boon or ban for indian classroom uh, okay sir okay sir okay sir thank you very much for bye to all session, bye, bye. okay thank you thank, thank you, sir. you thank, thank you bye thank you thank you all bye